So Chris, I will start with you. Um, it sounds like we need a couple of fixes to simplify both the immigration process and border security. This sounds like it complicates it. Am I missing something? It, well, it does complicate it. But again, the, the, the complicated issue here is that is the narrative around border security and immigration reform. And that narrative is have just been spilled into sound bites that we use as as political baseball. If we could start talking about immigration reform and border security in the context of an economic advantage, mm -hmm. we could actually start having a conversation that's more productive. Of course, a country is not a country without a border. We, we all agree on that. And in order to bring people into the lifeboat, you've got to stop the leaks. There's serious issues. In my home state of Texas, we're spending over $850 million a year caring for migrants. And Governor Abbott actually just recently said, if I had a penny of every dollar spent on the Ukrainian spending package, I would be able to lock up the border. So th there's clearly some things we can do. But relative to that is almost half of the people that are illegally in this country came legally uh, through a visa system that's mm -hmm. also broken. We need a system that carries and, and captures talent, that keeps talent, but it all starts with shoring up the border. And right now, the narrative is all focused on these insane images of drugs coming across, which is true. We've got to stop it. It's these insane images of people pouring across the, the Rio Grande and in, in, the, in the pastures of Texas. We've got to stop the, the leaks at the border so that we can create efficient systems in immigration. Yes, and invite people who are going to make the country a better place. So.